People who live near the Aliso Viejo victims still can't believe what happened in their neighborhood. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez spoke with some of them and is there live. Dave? Well, here we are in the neighborhood where it happened just a lot 25 hours ago. It was a little after 3 o'clock when the reports came in of shots fired into a condo right behind me. Now, detectives still will not confirm the relationship between the man that was now in custody in Inglewood, uh, Luke Ferguson, and one of the two people who were killed. That man's name is Doug Ferguson. We have been told by many neighbors that they are father and son, but detectives still won't confirm that. All we know is that there are some people here that were still very shaken, and they're very relieved that this now is over. This is a picture of the double murder suspect, 26-year-old Luke Ferguson. Orange County detectives say he's the man who shot and killed 51-year-old Lisa Casenza and 59-year-old Doug Ferguson, although detectives will not confirm if Doug Ferguson is, in fact, the father of the suspect, Luke Ferguson, although numerous neighbors told me that they are indeed father and son. Also shot two other men, identified only as a 23-year-old and a 48-year-old, who also lived in this condominium on Ashbury Court in Aliso Viejo. You never see this, it never happens. This shooting has truly stunned this neighborhood. Today, many neighbors just sat, did not want to go on camera or say anything to the reporters. I hear arguing, so then I sat back down on my bed, and then I hear like six or seven gunshots. One neighbor told me after she heard the shots, she saw a man who she said was Ferguson stagger out the condo, clutching his neck, bleeding, and he yelled out, he shot my girlfriend, he shot my girlfriend, and then he collapsed. They told me to turn around, get back in my house, lock my doors, lock my windows, and stay in the house. And that's exactly what this woman said she did yesterday after she heard the shots shortly after 3 o'clock. Detectives say that the suspect, Luke Ferguson, escaped in one of the victim's car, possibly his father's, although they didn't identify it as his father's car. Lisa Casenza once worked as an advertising director for the LA Times. She left that position in 2013. Today, a few of her colleagues remembered her on Facebook, saying what a wonderful woman she was and how much she'll be missed. Now, some friends of Lisa Consenza, some friends of Lisa Consenza just confirmed with me that uh, she was in a very long-term relationship with Ferguson. In fact, she used to often talk about Ferguson's son, Luke saying that he was a wonderful boy and that she took him under her wing. She never was able to have children and she considered this young man her own. Now, that young man is the man accused of killing her. Back to the studio.